So let's say we have a cyber arc vault here. Okay. Within this vault, we have uh, multiple saves. Okay. Within this vault, we have multiple saves. Let's call them save one, save two, right. and save three. Save one, save two, and save three. Within the safe one, we have some accounts onboarded. Let's say account one, account two. Uh, within the safe two, we have some accounts onboarded. Let's say account four and account three. And within safe three, we have some accounts onboarded. Account six and account five. Right. As soon as you onboard the account one into CyberArk, as soon as you onboard the account one inside CyberArk, the account gets encrypted with a symmetric encryption key, with a symmetric encryption key called file key. Account one will be encrypted with a symmetric encryption key called file key, and file key will be uniquely generated for each of the account that you are onboarding inside Cybera. So account one, let's say uh, it's going to have a file key of its own, let's say file key A1. Okay? Account two is going to have a file key of its own. Every account that you onboard inside CyberArk is going to have its own file key. Okay. Unique key generated, a symmetric encryption key generated for each of the accounts that you are going to onboard inside CyberArk. If you onboard thousands of accounts, you are going to have thousands of encryption uh, key, thousands of file key. Okay. This file key is going to be encrypted with a symmetric encryption key called save key. This file key is again going to be encrypted with a symmetric encryption key. Just like we talked about, we have multiple layers of encryption here. So file key is going to be encrypted with a save key, which is uniquely created for each save. Okay, so let's call it save key one, right? We have save key two, we have save key three. The save key is responsible to encrypt all the file keys that are created within the saves. All the file keys that you see here will be encrypted by this particular save key. All the file keys in save two will be encrypted by save key two. All the file keys in save key three will be encrypted by save key three, right? Now this save key, the save key is again encrypted. It again gets encrypted with a symmetric encryption key called server key. Yeah. Symmetric encryption key called server key. Server key is created. Uh, there is going to be one single server key for one vault, okay, dedicatedly created for uh, one single vault. It's going to be uh, one single server key for each vault. And the server key will be responsible to encrypt all the safe keys that you see here. Let's say you create thousands of safes inside CyberArk. All the safe keys will be encrypted by one server key. Okay. So if you have accounts getting encrypted with file key, file key getting encrypted with safe key, safe key getting encrypted by server key, multiple layers of encryption. Up till here, you have symmetric encryption. Okay. Up till here, you have symmetric encryption. The server key is going to be encrypted with an asymmetric encryption key. The server key is going to be encrypted with an asymmetric encryption key. This asymmetric encryption key will be called a recovery public key, which can be decrypted by a recovery private key. Recovery private key. Okay, this is asymmetric encryption. This is where we have asymmetric encryption. So multiple layers of encryption involved, including the symmetric and asymmetric encryption keys. Uh, so let's understand how does the backend process works. Within entire, entire all of this encryption process, you do not have a direct control over this encryption process because this is something that is managed by the software internally. Uh, but it is important for us to understand what goes on the back end in order to uh, 
this will be very important for from uh, certifications and interview perspective these symmetric and asymmetric encryption key are uh, important from that perspective so let's understand how does the encryption and decryption works here encryption is uh, you have simple file key encrypted by safe key and server key and then uh, asymmetric encryptions are involved but if a user wants to retrieve the password from uh, cyberarc if a user wants to retrieve the password from CyberArk, how does it look like in that case? What are the backend steps that gets executed? Let's say we have an end user here who, is, uh, who has a certain... So uh, let's say if the end user wants to retrieve the password from a particular account here, okay, let's say the end user wants to retrieve the password of uh, account one, okay? How does the process look like for the end user? It's basically the end user tries to retrieve the password of account one. Uh, the server key will start the process. Recovery public key and private key will not be used just like we talked about. It's going to be used only in emergency situation. Server key is going to start the process. Server key is going to decrypt the respective safe keys. Okay? So if the password of account one is respective, uh, requested the safe key one is going to be decrypted not safe key two not safe key three so server key is going to decrypt the safe key one safe key one is going to decrypt the file key one and not file key two because the password of account one is requested and file key a1 is going to decrypt the password of account one which is going to be provided to the end user so basically a reverse process of encryption server key starts the process server key decrypts the respective safe key safe key decrypts the respective file key and file key decrypts the respective uh, account password password is provided to the end user all the end user sees that uh, he tries to he clicks on the show password button and the password was available available to them but on the back end, all these processes are going to be executed. Okay? So basically, it's a complete reverse process of uh, encryption. If your encryption goes this way, your decryption goes this way. Okay? Again, completely back end process. Do not have you as an administrator, you do not have a control. But this is how it works. Does it make sense? 